Counter-Strike. I guess I'll do this Hold, one. Counter-Strike, Gears, and Overwatch tied. We're going to go with Counter-Strike, but I just want to make a note. Oh, That's pretty dope. Oh, wow. And yeah. not just that. They tied at 31%. Yeah. Yeah. How's about them apples? Yeah, sorry, StarCraft. Oh, Malik says you only came here to hear me say Katowice. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, Malik. I'll take it. Moving right along, let's talk about the 2018 Intel Extreme Masters Counter-Strike World Championship. That's a mouthful. Here's another one. Yeah. It was in Katowice, Poland, just wrapped up last weekend, and it defied all prediction. Ser well, I'm about to tell you because it was intense. Okay. Early upsets included two heartbreaking early losses for SK Gaming, the boys out of Brazil in Group A, and dominant victories from Astralis that put them in the semifinals. Now, Astralis mm. has actually won the E League Major ooh, season two. Am I remembering that correctly? I think it is. Yeah. And uh, and and so they, they but they haven't been doing a whole heck of a lot in between now and then. Okay. Solid team, but you know. Yeah. But sure. we'll get to that in a second. Now in Group B, FaZe Clan, the Elder Statesman, and Fnatic, very important to note that name, had their first clash of the tournament. Now Fnatic prevailed over this crazy powerhouse team two to one, excuse me, two to zero. That's decisive. Now they moved directly into the semifinals. Now FaZe Clan took the long way around, defeating Cloud9 in the quarterfinals, Astralis in the semis. On the Fnatic side, they had a productive 2-0 win against Team Liquid in the semi, setting the stage for a rematch of Giants, FaZe Clan v Fnatic. This was a remarkable journey for Fnatic. I'm just going to continue yeah, going. Yeah, it's good. You're so stop. pumped. I can't. I don't want to touch it. It's true. Now, who hasn't had a place in a major since their 3-0 victory two years ago in Katowice against Luminosity Gaming? Now, Luminosity would eventually become SK Gaming because things happen. It's a long story. I guess anyway, taking notes. This FaZe is took the first map that's 16 to 5 on cash, but Fnatic brought some new energy and took Inferno 22 to Dang. 20 in OT. Fnatic cinched overpass. Six, cinched? Clinched? S clinched. You cinched. know what? They won overpass <laughs> 16 to 7, but got beat back with a 16-11 loss on Mirage. In their sixth consecutive hour of gameplay, Fnatic <sighs> player Flusha ties up the tournament point game with this incredible 1v2 matchup. Now we have a clip of this. Let's watch Flusha handily clean up Olaf Meister and Guardian single-handedly. Ha! <laughs> okay. He needs <laughs> okay. You, you, so we've got Flusha. Sorry. Could, <laughs> no, it's, it's as impressive as anything else. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got Flusha. And of course, if you're watching uh, with this, the, nobody in the actual game can see what we can see over the spectator mode. Here we go. That's, that's one. That's one. Guardian is behind. Oh, Guardian, by the way, known the world over as one of the best CSGO callers. There it is. Yahtzee, Flusha. Here's it is. So Fnatic clinched the world championship with a 1917 overtime win against FaZe. <sighs> Took home a solid $253,000 in return to CS Major Glory to rewatch, and I highly recommend it at the very least the grand finals mm -hmm. or any of the VODs. Visit eslgaming.com, <clears throat> taking down the likes of FaZe Clan yeah. as a and Fnatic. They are definite. Here's and again, of course, gamers. One of the the things that you get as the winning team is you get an academy, a Fnatic Academy place. Huge opportunity. Huge. Huge opportunity. Did we not just mention that a ma they ma they just won a major? The next yeah. major is for CS:GO isn't until uh, London, which I think is in the fall. Yeah. Yep. yep. September. <laughs> Boom.